it was a funny story. I'm not going to say the school, but I was speaking to these high school kids, yeah. right? And we were talking about the importance of blood donation. And one of the football coaches come walking in. He's former Air Force. And he's like, oh, I gave my time. When I was in the Air Force, I was donating blood all the time. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, coach, you got a little bit of time. This is for all these kids that I just got pumped up about donating blood. Yeah. And he's, a, he's peeing on it, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, coach, I'm going to have to choke you. But I said, all right, in front of all these kids, I said, coach, will you give me an hour of your time? And he said, sure. I said, well, let's go get in my van. I want to take you up to the hospital where there's a young man awaiting a kidney transplant. Mm -hmm. And he's receiving blood products right now. And it's keeping him alive. Yeah. He signed up to donate blood. He's, he said, right. okay, I get it. I get it. I don't want to be faced yeah. with that reality. Yeah. You know, so uh, I, I, I tend to be pretty passionate. Even on my, my evaluations, one of the things that I get gigged on is... Sometimes my colleagues aren't as excited yeah. about it and have the personal investment. And so I'm like, come on, why aren't you working 12 hours a day? But um, so they say, Ron, you're a little... You're, you're a little overzealous. Yeah. You know, I'm like Peter cutting ears off in the garden, you know. <laughs> what, you're not going to donate? Well, I'll take it from you. Yeah. But but uh, it, it's rewarding, man. You know, we, every day we wake up and we have a new mission. We we have a new life to save. And, and not only save lives, we're, we're doing great research mm -hmm. here. And uh, we were one of the first blood banks to do convalescent plasma mm -hmm. for during the onset of COVID. And it feels really, really Good to be a part of that. <laughs>